Your brain is two to 3% of your body weight, but it consumes about 30% of your oxygen. It's like a 1972 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, right? It gets like two blocks to a gallon. It's horribly inefficient. This small percentage of your body when it per weight is using a very, very high percent of your oxygen. So if you have an anemia, understand it's going to affect your brain health, okay? It's not just gonna affect your energy in your lungs, make you shorter breath, you know, lower your energy. Yes, it is, but it's gonna affect the health of your brain. You need to make sure your red blood cell health is as perfect as possible. So when you're going to get these things looked at, there's all kinds of other markers that need to be addressed. Your, your hematocrit, your mean corpuscle volume, your, um, mean corpuscle hemoglobin concentration. There's all kinds of different markers that go into looking at your red blood cell health, but this is a very sensitive marker to determine, do you have an iron deficiency anemia? This percentage of trans fat saturation can go up or down based on the amount of iron you're consuming in your diet, but it also can be impacted by the amount of, uh, of binding proteins for the iron in your body.